Hello and welcome or welcome back to the Dandelion Diaries. Today we have another collection. This is the famous Pilot Iroshi Zuku collection. So I have all of the inks, including the three that were discontinued, but I do not have any of the 100th anniversary inks um, to swatch, which I feel like is okay because those were like a one-time thing and I don't think they're going to be coming back. <laughs> um, but for supplies today, we have my Hobonichi A5 notebook with the Tomoe River paper. I have a little clear stamping block, which is what I'll be using to make the little dots, a eyedropper, a Kakimori brass dip pen, which you can get at Atlas Stationers now. And if you want to use my code Danielle10 to save 10%, you can do that as well. I also have two jars of water over here. And then there are 27 inks total. So that would mean I have 25 samples. No, 20. So I have 24 samples in three bottles. Two of the bottles are the discontinued inks, Inaho and Tsukushi, and then the other one is Kujaku, which I always have a hard time finding and I really like, so I went ahead and just bought a bottle of it. I also have a tape dispenser here because I learned this from a video from Karina Loves to Plan that you can put your ink vial just in the hole and it holds the ink vial pretty well while you dip in and out of it. So to prevent any, any more spills, since we've had a couple of spills on this channel already. But we're going to go ahead and get started with the very first ink, and that is Hotaru B, otherwise known as Light of the Fireflies. This ink is very much a green-yellow. I think it's the only quote-unquote yellow they have in the entire collection. I do like this ink, but I think it's just a little bit too muted for the color that I would want. Um, it's not a color I would typically write with, and it's also very light. Next, we have Chiku Rin, otherwise known as Bamboo Forest, and this color is stunning. It is a beautiful medium green color. <clears throat> it does have a little bit of shading, and I really do quite enjoy the look of this, especially in large pages of writing. The last green in the collection is Shin Ryoku, which is forest green. And I must admit, with this green, it isn't very foresty to me. It's more of a cool-toned green. I would say, I guess it's kind of like pine tree green. Um, not quite as warm as what I think a pine tree color would be, but it is still a very nice deep green color. Moving on to our more teal families, teal turquoise, we have Sui Go Gyoku. And I'm going to just go ahead and apologize now for pronunciation. <laughs> I have talked about this in many of my videos. My pronunciation of various inks is not always the best, so take what I say with a grain of salt. I may be pronouncing it wrong. And Sui Gyoku is emerald. Now when it comes to Sui Gyoku, I will say this one is a gorgeous color, but it is so incredibly similar to the next ink, which is Kujaku, that I feel like you could get one over the other. For Kujaku, it stands for Peacock. And hopefully by putting the Sui Gyoku and the Kujaku next to each other, you will see the difference. It's pretty apparent right away when you swatch them that Sui Gyoku is a little bit greener, like emerald, and that Kujaku is a little bit bluer, much like peacock feathers. So I feel like these ones are very well named for the different teal shades that they have. Continuing on with our blues, we have Sio Ro, which is down or dew sorry on pine tree so this one again is like teal ish i feel like it's just more of a darker blue color in all honesty but it does match in the teal family range um i'll let you guys decide what you think based on how it looks on camera but i feel like it's a little bit more blue than it is green I will say the shading for Sioro is much different than its two neighbors, the Shin Ryoku and the Kujaku. Although the shade, like the main base color of Sioro, is almost the same as Kujaku. Next we have Tsukiyo, and this color is otherwise known as Moonlight. And I think if you needed a really appropriate dark blue ink for work, this would be the one that I would choose just because it has some beautiful shading to it. Next we have Shinkai, which is the blue-black, technically, of the group. And Shinkai stands for deep sea. 
Next we have Asa Gao, otherwise known as Morning Glory. And this one is a bit more of a indigo purpley blue to me. It isn't quite blue, but it's also not quite purple. So let me know what you think in the comments. Next, we have a favorite among many, and that is Con Pecky. My sample was altered after a spill during my Bright Blue Inks video. So if you're interested in watching that happen, feel free to go check that out. Con Pecky stands for Deep Cerulean Blue, and this is honestly such a gorgeous color in writing and swatches. It is just overall a beautiful blue color. Next, we have Ama Iro, which is very similar to Konpeki to me. This one stands for Blue Sky. Ama Iro is slightly lighter than Konpeki is, and it is just as beautiful. Next in the blues, we have a discontinued ink, and that is Tusiu Kusa. This one is Cornflower. And as sad as I am that they discontinued this ink, I completely understand. Since they have so many other blue inks to choose from, I feel like this one was a good one to boot. Although if they ever decide to bring it back, I will be sure to snag a bottle of it. And the last blue technically is a Jisai, a Jisai, which is Hydrangea. And this ink is probably one of my favorite colors in the group, just because it's like a lavendery blue purple. That's why I said it's kind of blue, but to me, it is definitely much more purple. Moving on to the other side of the page, we have Murasaki Shiki Bu, which is, I think, the longest name out of all of the Iroshizuku. And this one stands for Japanese Beauty Berry. And if you like deep, warm, purpley colors, this is definitely the color for you. The Murasaki Shiki Bu is this beautiful, violet and it is absolutely gorgeous to write with as well. Next we have the infamous Yamabuto. I think this ink has gotten more hype than any other ink in this collection or maybe that's just the circles that I run in but this ink is so popular amongst I think anybody who likes this line of inks and it's probably because of its very unique color. Yamabudo stands for Crimson Glory Vine, and it is this gorgeous, deep magenta color, and honestly is so beautiful to write with, and it does have a beautiful sheen to it as well. Moving more into the pink family, we have Tsutsuji, I think is how you pronounce it, and this one stands for Azalea. Tsutsuji is a beautiful, hot pink color to me, it is bright, it is vibrant, it's in your face, and honestly not a color I typically write with, but it is very beautiful to look at, especially in a swatch. Next, we have kind of a reddish pink color, and this is Momji, which stands for Autumn Leaves. I believe they wanted this to be the red of the group, but in my opinion, it is a little too warm to be considered an actual red. Next, we have the true pink of the group, and that is Kozumosu, which is Cosmos in the translation. Kozumosu is a bright, lighter pink. It's still kind of a hot pink. Maybe this is more like a Barbie pink if we're keeping on trend, but I still really like this color and it's very soft to write with. Like it doesn't shine in your face as much as some of the other pink inks that I have used. And the last pink in the family is Hana Akita, which is honestly so beautiful and light. I've talked about how I'm not always a fan of light inks, but this one is absolutely stunning with its beautiful shading, and I hope you get to see what I mean once the swatches have dried down. Hana Akita stands for Cherry Blossom Petals, and I think they absolutely have the translation down and the color down to a T when it comes to what Cherry Blossom Petals actually look like. Next, we have the more I guess reddish orange of the group, and that is Fuyu Gaki, which stands for Winter Persimmon. Again, this is another one of the inks. I feel like they matched the color and the name very well together. The last orange or red-ish color of the group is uh, Iroshizuku Yuyake, which is Sunset. 
And I say this one is orange and red because when it dries down, it has a varying shade from kind of a reddish orange to a medium orange. And I think it is absolutely beautiful. When I think about this ink, I think about the Hunger Game movies or books, depending on which ones you've seen or read, and how Peta says his favorite color is the sunset orange. <laughs> I feel like they embodied that color very well with this one. Next we have another one of the discontinued inks and that is Pilot Evo Shizuku Inaho which also is rice ear in translation. I wasn't quite sure where to put this one in the order of inks just because I feel like it's very unique in its color and I am still very disappointed that they have discontinued this ink but I would say that it fits in the browns and I want to say that it is also a little bit more yellow than it is green maybe <laughs> um, I don't know you guys tell me if you think I should have put it on the side with the greens or if you think it's okay in the more orangey section but Inaho is this beautiful kind of like brownish color Next, we have another discontinued one, and this one is Tsukushi. Amongst all of the inks that they discontinued, I was actually kind of surprised they discontinued this one, specifically because it is a beautiful medium brown, and I feel like a lot of people like to write with brown ink, so this one would have been a good one to keep around. But they do have another brown in the line that is a little bit darker, and you'll get to see that one in just a second. Tsukushi stands for horsetail, and I feel like the brown color that it is is definitely that of a sorrel colored horse. The brown that they do still have in the line is Yamaguri, which stands for wild chestnut. And wild chestnut is definitely much darker than Tsukushi, but it is still a beautiful brown color. I feel like it is a little bit more brown black and maybe that's why they decided to keep that one versus the one that is more brown brown. Then we have the actual black of the group and that is Take Sumi which stands for bamboo charcoal. And Take Sumi is a beautiful standard black ink. It does have some minor shading to it which is really pretty as well as a very minor sheen and I think it is a great starter black ink if you're looking for a good one. I would definitely say Take Sumi is a good choice to start with. Our second to last ink is Kiri Same, which is Scotch Mist. And this is the gray of the group, if there was one. It is a little cool leaning. It's not quite as blue gray as the last sample, but it is definitely a beautiful medium gray color. And the last ink in the Iroshizuku line is Fuyu Syogan, which is rigor or vigor. I think it's rigor of winter. And next to Kirisame, this one looks much cooler, as I said. It is definitely a blue gray color. It makes Kirisame look warm, honestly, but without the, the Fuyu Sogon there, it is definitely a cool leaning gray as well. All right, so I'm going to let these dry down or finish drying down since most of them have dried. And I will be back in just a minute and we'll do some close ups of each one. All right, so they have all dried down for the most part. So I'm going to zoom you guys in and we'll go over each one this time because I think all of these deserve a special moment. So starting off, we have Hortu B or Haratu B. Um, like I said, it's just that nice kind of yellowy green color. It does have some shading, no sheen, but it is a beautiful light yellowish green if that's something that you are into. Then we had Chiku Rin, Bamboo Forest, beautiful medium green color, no sheen, just some minor shading, standard, gorgeous, we love it. Shin Ryoku or Forest Green. It does have a minor bit of red sheen to it, but it is, like I said, that cool toned, deeper green color. Don't really consider it dark green. It's more of a medium green to me, but it's still beautiful nonetheless. Then we had Sioro Du on Pine Tree. Bright red sheen on that one. It is a little bit more teal. Looks very similar to Kujaku, but it is a little bit more green and a little bit darker. Kujaku is peacock, red sheen again, shading, gorgeous, gorgeous, beautiful ink to write with. Um, really just all, all three of these together, the teal family is really pretty on this line, I'm not going to lie. 
Siogyoku or Emerald is that lighter greenish teal color. It does have a bit more shading than some of its neighbors, but I would say the sheen on this one is much lower than its neighbors as well. Then we had Tsuyoko Yo or Moonlight. Again, red sheen, more of a dark blue color, does have some shading to darker blue colors, um, but it is more muted, like I would say kind of like a grayish, like a dark gray blue, um, a little bit more blue than gray. This one's a little complicated, we'll just say that. <laughs> then we had Shin Kai or Deep Sea. Technically, I do think this is the blue black of the group, although it is a little bit more dark blue to me than black. Um, but don't take my word for it. If you want to get a sample of it, it is a beautiful ink. Then we had Asagawa Morning Glory, beautiful, bright blue, a little bit purple leaning, absolutely beautiful with that red sheen. Just yes, love this color as well. Then we have Konpeki, which is definitely a favorite amongst everyone who loves this line. It does have a very, very minor red sheen, and it is a beautiful medium blue color. Its neighbor, Amairo or Blue Sky, is just a lighter version of Konpeki, and I still think it is just as gorgeous. And then we had Tsusyu Kusa, which is the discontinued blue ink, and it is a good mix of, I feel like, Asagao and Amairo together, or maybe even Asagao and Kompeki together. It's still a beautiful medium blue ink. It is a little bit cooler, purpley toned. Um, it's, yeah, it's just really pretty. Then we have Ajisai or Hydrangea, which this watch kind of smudged a little bit, but that's okay. And I still love this color. It is a very lavendery bluish purple color and has some beautiful shading and a very, very minor red sheen, which you might be able to see on the edge here. Then we had Murasa Murasaki Shiki Bu, or the longest name of the Iroshizuku line, which is Japanese Beautyberry. This does have a very minor green sheen to it. It is very cool toned medium purple and is beautiful to write with. I feel like all of these inks write very well as well. Then we have the infamous Yamabudo Crimson glory vine it has a greenish gold sheen deep purpley magenta shading and is beautiful to write with extra extra beautiful then we have tsutsuji or azalea which is again like that hot pink color i was talking about but next to the kosumosu down here not so much but tsutsuji is a beautiful kind of dark hot pink we'll say and it has, again, that kind of like green gold sheen to it and is really beautiful as well. Then we have Mamiji, which is autumn leaves. Again, I think this is supposed to be a red, but I feel like it is a little too pink to be considered red, but y'all tell me what you think in the comments. Then we have Kosumosu, like I said, is Cosmos or like bright pink. Um, I feel like this is a very beautiful color. It is more muted, not hot, hot pink, but it's still pretty bright and it does have a very minor green sheen to it as well. Then we have Hana Akita, which has that beautiful light to kind of medium pink shade. It does not have a sheen, although, yeah, no, it does not have a sheen, but it is a beautiful standard ink. Then we had Fuyugaki or Winter Persimmon. I still love this color. It is kind of like a reddish orange. Um, it is got a little bit of a sheen to it. I think it's kind of like a, I don't know, goldish color. It's not quite green to me, but it is a beautiful medium orange that leans a little bit more red. Then we had Yuyake, which is a reddish orange again, but I feel like this one is much more orange somehow. I don't know. Maybe it's more red. I'm, I'm, yeah, they're, they're both beautiful colors, but Yuyake really does remind me of the sunset orange from the Hunger Games, if you remember that scene between Peeta and Katniss. Then we had the discontinued ink Inaho or Rice Ear. It did kind of blend a little bit with Yuyake over here, but the majority of the swatch is correct. It is this kind of like greenish, brownish, yellowish, tan color um i really love this ink it is a pleasure to write with it is beautiful it is soft enough but bright enough it's it's quite unique and i really hope they bring it back someday because it is a beautiful it's just a beautiful ink 
Then we have Tsukushi or Horsetail, which has this beautiful medium warm brown with a green sheen and it shades to an even darker brown and is a really pleasant rainy experience as well. I'm really sad that they got rid of this brown and kept the Yamaguri, but that's because I like this brown tone a little bit more. The Yamaguri or Wild Chestnut is just a little bit too brown black for me. It's a little too dark, but it does have some beautiful shading as well as a little bit of sheen to it, which would make it a still pleasant grinding experience. Then we have Takesumi or Bamboo Charcoal beautiful standard black color does have a little bit of sheen to it also has a little bit of shading when you write a lot with it it does shade out in broader nibbed pens and i think it's absolutely beautiful then we have kurosame or scotch mist which is the warmer of the two grays but it is still a cool toned gray don't get me wrong but Fuyu Sogun and Kirasame are both flat. They don't have any sheening, but they do have some beautiful shading to other gray tones within them. All right, so there we have it, the Pilot Iroshizuku line, the famous, well-loved inks by so many. These inks are fabulous writers. They're juicy, they don't dry out, and they work well in any pen that I've ever tried them in, and I highly recommend any of them, honestly, for beginners because they are just fabulous writers as you can see i have three full bottles of them and i do plan on getting some more once i finish these samples i love writing with this ink just because it behaves so well i think once i make it through all of my black samples i will go ahead and stick with the takesume as my main black ink just because it writes really smoothly in everything and is nice and wet when it comes to a dry writing pen if you are interested in more of my ink swatching videos, I will leave a card up here for the playlist and we'll also have it down in the description. And if you're interested in more content from me, I also have an Instagram, which I will leave on the screen. But for now, I thank you guys so, so, so much for watching. And if there's any other collections you want me to swatch, leave it down in the comments because I'm, I'm trying to come up with more collections because I know there's a bunch of them out there. So let me know which ones you guys want to see next, but I will see you in the next one. Bye.